Hi, today I'm going to discuss about Form 1, Chapter 1, Rational Numbers. If you want to know more about integers, you may refer to our Part 1 video. Before we proceed, I'm going to give a brief explanation about integers. So let's look at the number line from negative 3 to positive 3. Negative 3 means 3 less than 0. Negative 2 means 2 less than 0 and so on. On the other side, 3 means 3 more than 0. 2 means 2 more than 0 and so on. Positive integers are always on the right and negative integers are on the left side. Let's look at the first question. Solve each of the following. A. Negative 18 divide negative 6. Negative 18 is a negative integer and negative 6 is also a negative integer. When a negative integer divide a negative integer, the answer must be positive. Like symbols, positive, unlike symbols, negative. So the answer for this question is positive 3. B. 15 divide negative 5. Positive divide negative. The answer must be negative. The answer is negative 3. C. Negative 20 divide 4. This question is the same as the previous one, which is negative divide positive. The answer is negative 5. Next, evaluate each of the following. Negative 9 multiply bracket negative 4 plus 6 close bracket. So first, we have to solve negative 4 plus 6 because it's in the bracket. Negative 4 plus 6 is 2. Now, you just have to take negative 9, multiply 2, and the answer is negative 18. Evaluate each of the following. Negative 12 minus 15, multiply negative 3 minus negative 6. First, we have to solve 15 multiply negative 3. We can write negative 12 minus 15 multiply negative 3 plus 6. 6 becomes positive because like symbols positive. Then we start solving 15 multiply negative 3. Next one is negative 12 minus bracket 15 multiply negative 3 close bracket plus 6. 15 multiply negative 3 is negative 45. So it becomes negative 12 minus negative 45 plus 6. Two negative symbols form a positive symbol. Therefore, it is negative 12 plus 45 plus 6. And the answer is 39. Let's move on to the next question. Evaluate each of the following. Negative 6 plus negative 8 multiply negative 5 over negative 27 minus negative 38. First, we have to take negative 6 minus 8 multiply negative 5 over negative 27 plus 38. 38 becomes positive because negative and negative signs are together. And 8 remains negative because positive and negative signs are together. Then we solve negative 12 plus 38 a negative 27 plus 38 and negative 8 multiply negative 5. And it becomes negative 6 open bracket negative 8 plus um, multiply negative 5 close bracket over 11. So it's equal to negative 6 plus 40 
over 111. Negative 6 plus 40 is 34. So it becomes 34 over 11 and convert it to mixed fraction is 3 and 1 over 11. A shop makes a profit of 16,800 ringgit in the first year and incurred a loss of 6,500 ringgit each year for the next two consecutive years. In the fourth year, the loss incurred was twice the loss incurred in the second year. How much was the profit or less of or loss of the shop at the end of those four years? A profit of 16,800 ringgit can be represented as positive 16,800 ringgit. And a loss of 6,500 ringgit can be represented as negative 6,500 ringgit. And for the fourth year, it is twice the loss incurred in the second year. So negative 6,500 ringgit multiply 2 and the answer is 13,000 ringgit. The last step is to take 16,800 ringgit minus 6,500 ringgit and minus 6,500 ringgit again and then minus 13,000 ringgit equals to negative 9,200 ringgit. So the shop incurred a loss of 9,200 ringgit. From 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. of the next day, the temperature in Kuching dropped by 4 degrees Celsius. The temperature then rose by 8 degrees Celsius at 11 a.m. and continued rising by 2 degrees Celsius 3 hours later. If the temperature in Kuching at 11 a.m. was 30 degrees Celsius, calculate the temperature at A, 7 p.m. of the first day. So the question states that at 11 a.m. the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. In order to find the temperature at 7 p.m. of the first day, we have to take 30 degrees Celsius minus 8 degrees Celsius because the question states that the temperature rose by 8 degrees Celsius at 11 a.m. So 30 degrees Celsius minus 8 degrees Celsius is 22 degrees Celsius. The next step is to take 22 degrees Celsius at 4 degrees Celsius because the temperature dropped by 4 degrees Celsius at the next day. 22 degrees Celsius plus 4 degrees Celsius is 26 degrees Celsius and that is your answer. B. Calculate the temperature at 2 p.m. of the second day. The difference between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. is 3 hours and the question state that the temperature rose by 2 degrees Celsius 3 hours later. Therefore, we can just take 30 degrees Celsius which is the temperature at 11 a.m. plus 2 degrees Celsius to find the temperature at 2 p.m. 30 degrees Celsius plus 2 degrees Celsius and your answer is 32 degrees Celsius. Four. A diver was at 50 meter below sea level. The diver swam out 2 milliliter every 5 seconds. Explain whether the diver would have reached the sea surface after 2 minutes. Based on the question, 
We know that the diver was at 50 meter below sea level and swam out 2 meters every second, every 5 seconds. First, we have to convert 2 minutes to seconds so it will be easier for us to count. 2 minutes to second is 2 minutes multiply 60 seconds. So it's 120 seconds. Then 120 seconds divide 5 to find how many groups of 5 seconds are there in 120 seconds and you will get 24. Lastly, 24 multiply 2 because the time given is 2 minutes and the answer is 48. 48 is not equal to 50, so the diver can't reach the sea surface in 2 minutes. Now, let's look at the number line of negative fractions and positive fractions. Negative 1 over 2 means 1 over 2 less than 0, and positive 1 over 2 means 1 over 2 more than 0. Positive fractions are fractions more than 0, whereas negative fractions are fractions less than 0. Positive fractions are always on the right, and negative fractions are always on the left. Compare and arrange the following fractions in ascending order. First, we compare the negative fractions first which are negative 5 over 6, negative 2 over 3, negative 13 over 18, and negative 15 over 24. Then, we compare the first three, make the denominator same, which is 18, and it will become negative 15 over 18, negative 12 over 18, and negative 13 over 18. Now, we can see that the smallest is negative 15 over 18, followed by negative 13 over 18 and negative 12 over 18. Next, we compare negative 2 over 3 and negative 15 over 24. As usual, make the denominator same, which is negative 16 over 24, negative 15 over 24. So the sequence for negative fractions are negative 5 over 6, negative 13 over 18, negative 2 over 3 and negative 15 over 24. Now the 2 left which is 1 over 3 and 5 over 8. Same, make the denominator same and it is 8 over 24 and 15 over 24. So the answer for this question is negative 5 over 6, negative 13 over 18, negative 2 over 3, negative 15 over 24, uh, positive 1 over 3, and positive 5 over 8. Next, evaluate each of the following. In this question, we have to solve the 1 in the bracket first, which is 3 and 2 over 7 minus 4 and 1 over 2. The next step is negative 6 multiply open bracket 23 over 7 minus 9 over 2 close bracket solve the one in the bracket first make the denominators to 14 and it becomes negative 6 
multiply open bracket 46 over 14 minus 63 over 14 close bracket so negative 6 multiply open bracket negative 17 over 14 close bracket negative and negative the answer must be positive so it is 3 oh no sorry 7 and 2 over 7 For each of the following number patterns, complete it using a suitable fraction. First, we have to find the difference between negative 1 over 3 and 1 over 6 to find the pattern. So, 1 over 6 minus negative 1 over 3. Negative and negative becomes positive, therefore, 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3 and make the denominator same, it becomes 1 over 6 plus 2 over 6. 1 plus 2 is 3, so the difference between them is 3 over 6. Finally, make 3 over 6 in its simplest form, simplest form and it will be 1 over 2. Now that we know that the difference between them is 1 over 2, we would be able to find the missing fraction. To find it, take 1 over 6 plus 1 over 2. Then make the de denominator same and it becomes 1 over 6 plus 3 over 6. 1 plus 3 equals to 4. So it's 4 over 6. Then make it to its simplest form is 2 over 3. For each of the following, complete it using a suitable fraction. In this question, we have to solve negative 1 over 3, negative 5 over 6 first to find the suitable fraction. So, negative 1 over 3 minus 5 over 6 makes the denominator same. It becomes negative 2 over 6 minus 5 over 6. And the answer is 7 over 6, negative 7 over 6. Now the equation becomes negative 7 over 6 equals to 1 over 2 multiply x. Bring 1 over 2 multiply x to the left side and it is 1 over 2 multiply x equals to negative 7 over 6. Make x the subject of this equation and it will be x equals to negative 7 over 6 divide by 1 over 2. The multiply symbol becomes divide and positive becomes negative. So x equals to negative 7 over 6 multiply 2 over 1. The suitable fraction is negative 2 and 1 over 3.